geologists proposed that billions of years ago, during the warmer Noachian epoch, Liquid water may have once flowed freely across the Martian surface, potentially supporting life as we know it. fluctuations in the ice cap provide quantifiable data about how atmospheric and geological processes on Mars have interacted to shape its present-day environment. periods, an estimated 3 million metric tons of water vapor released annually into the atmosphere, contributing to cloud formation, influencing regional weather patterns. This release directly correlates with solar radiation received by Mars. Peak melting occurs during Martian spring when northern hemisphere tilts towards the sun, increasing insulation by approximately 20%. Dynamic ice cap has further implications for astrobiology, understanding its composition, behavior and potential interaction with the subsurface environment. provides specific insights into the possibility of past or even present life or organic forms on Mars. For instance, cells detected within the ice cap by orbiting spacecraft like Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter suggests that liquid water may persist in small quantities beneath the surface. Specifically, high concentrations of perchlorates have been found, indicating conditions potentially conductive to chemosynthesis.
findings coupled with data from orbital missions like Mars Odyssey, revealing subsurface mineral deposits rich in iron oxides and sulfates, indicate a complex interplay between subsurface water and the ice cap itself. Recent advancements in remote sensing technology have allowed scientists to observe the Martian surface with unprecedented detail. Satellites orbiting Mars can capture high-resolution images of the ice cap surface revealing patterns and textures indicative of geological processes such as sublimation and deposition. Analyzing these images alongside data gathered from spacecraft missions like Curiosity and Perseverance, continuous stream of information about the changing face of this icy region. 